Hello everyone and welcome back to La Vida Football. My name is Luis Laureano. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a formation and a system of play. So, as you can see behind me, we have our 4-4-2 formation and essentially we are using, uh, at least for this example, we're using just the 4-4-2 the flat, meaning we have a back line here, a, a line in the middle and a line that is represented by the strikers. Okay, so essentially a formation, all it really represents is your lineup. But it's different to what we call a system of play. So the system of play is actually what brings the formation to life. And uh, it, it gives purpose to the formation. So for example, uh, if you're using a 4-4-2 to, to be defensive, then this, these two players become very uh, defensive. So you, instead, of, instead of being just a left midfielder and a right midfielder, uh, you, they become a left defensive midfielder and a right defensive midfielder. So two number sixes, for example, and then these players kind of come in close and you know, the two strikers end up staying high a little bit uh, and essentially starting the, the pressure there. Okay, so that is, that is a, a more defensive approach and to make it even more defensive, you know, your, your defenders can actually, your strikers actually can, can be more on your half in, in order to start the, the defensive uh, press. Okay, so these two players can hold back and that is an example of, or a variation of a 4-4-2 system of play. Okay. Or you can have, you know, two midfielders, two center midfielders, and now these players are a little bit more, perhaps more technical, have a better understanding of playing with each other, and uh, are very good at shifting. And that is, a, for example, a different system of play, right? Now, Another example of what a system of play is versus a formation is also how you do things. So the formation is there to, to kind of put players in a position that is optimal to what they want to do. The system of play is what, what we do to take advantage of that positioning. So for example here, if we have a midfielder that receives a ball from, from the center back, then now this player could either go out so that is a situation where the system of play is supposed to, to essentially take advantage of the wings, right? So this player rotates and can play the left back with a uh, overlap pass there. Uh, or essentially we can also play into the center so that we get one of the players to kind of step so that then we play a long ball to this uh, left back that is making this overlapping run there Okay, so that is essentially a system of play if you want to focus your attack through the wings right now again uh, the 442 is Only to kind of give shape so that is just the formation the system of play is also used for transitioning right so for example if the team recovers the ball then this 4-4-2 might not be the most optimal to try to you know, build attack. So what some teams do is they defend with a 4-4-2, but then they create a different formation that allows them to have a better attack. So this 4-4-2 essentially becomes a 4-2-3-1. A so now you have four here, four, four defenders, the back line of four, and then we have two number sixes now. We have a number 10, and we have our seven and 11 on the wings, kind of ready to attack, ready to, to receive some balls from perhaps the center back. Um, and essentially, uh, you know, in position to, to create a, a very pressing attack versus the opponents. Okay, so then that is, what I mean by, you know, the, the system of play is what puts this formation uh, and brings it into life, I should say.
Okay, so that is basically it for the difference between a formation and a system of play. Uh, at the end of the day, the system of play is what's important. Uh, that is essentially what uh, you know you as a coach should be trying to teach. Because just putting a player in a position is not going to be it's not going to be enough. The players need instruction. The the players need to know what they should do when they have the ball, what they should do when they don't have the ball, and then now you create what we know as a system of play. So the players have an understanding of where they need to go, uh, where they need to look, and uh, hopefully these things become habit so that they don't have to think about these too much and it just comes natural, right? As soon as the center back comes, uh, recovers the, the ball, for example, you know, your, your left wing opens up to receive a ball on the outside, right? So these are, these are things that we want to be able to, to eventually teach and uh, coach our players with. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button. And also, if you guys just wanna continue uh, you know, interacting or you have some questions or comments, then feel free to comment that in the comment section below. And I hope you guys keep learning with La Vida Football. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.